Good morning, everybody. It's me again, Abi Susi, your teacher of English. Uh, today's lesson, inshallah, is a lesson of grammar, and it is for the baccalaureate classes. Um, the lesson is about reported speech. Let's have a look at the dialogue um, uh, on the whiteboard. Uh, this is Aisha, this is Ali, and this is Ahmed. Now, Aisha. I feel tired today. Ali didn't listen to Aisha. Didn't hear what Aisha said. What did she say? Ahmed, she said that she felt tired that day. This is the sentence of Aisha. And this is the sentence of Ahmed. These words are said by Aisha. That's why you can see here the inverted commas. So these words came out of the mouth of Aisha. This is her words. This is what we call direct speech. This is a sentence in Direct speech. Okay? Now, Ahmed here is doing what? Is reporting, is repeating uh, the words of Aisha, but in his own words. So the content, the content is Aisha's content. But the words, are the words of Ahmed. That's why you can see some changes here. So, this is what we call indirect speech or reported speech. Indirect speech or reported speech. So, to move from direct speech into indirect speech, there are some changes. As you may notice here, there are changes here in the sentence. From this sentence to this sentence, there are some changes. If we want to go from direct speech into reported speech, we need to do some changes. Let's see what are these changes. Let's begin. First of all, as you may notice here, there are no inverted commas. So, no inverted commas. This is the first thing. Second thing, you may see the use of the reporting verb. This is said is called a reporting verb. In French, you may uh, have encountered this uh, term in French when you were studying this lesson in French, as the verb introducteur. In English, we call it the reporting verb. So, the use of a reporting verb. That, good, we use that. But, not, uh, it, it's optional, you can do it, you can not. We can say, she said she felt tired, it's also correct. So, we, yes, here I becomes she, so change in terms of pronoun. So, change of pronoun. Good, next we have feel, felt. Good, change of tense. This is simple present. Became, or it becomes, sorry. Simple past. Very good. So, change of verb tense. Excellent. Very good. The last thing, last change. Today, that day. Today. It's what? Adjective? No. It's an adverb of what? Place? Good. It's an adverb of time. So, change of adverb of time. Sorry, I don't have enough space. Change of 
adverb of time. Very good. So, to summarize, to summarize, to change or to transform a sentence from direct speech into indirect speech, we need to go through some changes. The changes are, we omit the commas, so no commas are needed in the direct, in the indirect speech. We change pronouns, we change the verb tense, we change the adverbs of time if there are any in a sentence. Concerning the verb or the reporting verb, we have two cases. We change the verb into this, the, the, the verb tense, which is in the case we have the verb here in the past. That is to say, if we have here a reporting verb in the present tense, we do not change the tense. We keep the tense of the verb. So, I repeat. We do change the verb tense from simple present to simple past, from simple past to past perfect, from past, uh, past perfect to past perfect, from present perfect to past perfect, from present continuous to past continuous, from past continuous to past perfect continuous. This is what we call in grammar the back shift. So we do these changes in one case. If this verb here is in the past, i.e. if the reporting verb is in the past, I repeat. We change the tenses of the verb in case if this verb if this verb here is in the past tense. If this verb is in the present tense, then we do not change the verb tense. The verb remains in its tense of the original sentence. Very good. Excellent. So um, I give you some examples and we will begin with the sentence which is a declarative sentence or what we call statements. I need to clean the black word, the white word, sorry. I always call it the black word, I don't know why. Okay. Good. Um, I give you this short exercise just to see if you understood uh, the uh, lesson or not. Um, this is the example of the national exam question, i.e. in the national exam um, we suppose that you will have a question if you are having a question in the course of speech. The question may look like this. Rewrite these sentences as suggested. Yesterday I played football with my friends. Ali says, and you need to complete the sentence. We are going to meet a friend tomorrow. She said, Ali says, she said, you will have a test next week. The teacher informed us. So let's do the first one. In order to do this exercise, we need, first of all, to have a look at the reporting verb. Where is the reporting verb? Says. This is a reporting verb. Said. This is a reporting verb. Inform. This is a reporting verb. Now, let's begin. I need to have many colors so that we can see the changes clear in the sentences. Sorry. Ah. Ali says... So we, we may use that or not. So between brackets, it's optional. That yesterday, it's an adverb of time. It becomes the day before. Or the previous day. Both are correct. Comma. I. Is it me only speaking in the sentence? No, it's Ali. So Ali is he. Good. So, he, there's a change of pronoun. Played. Simple past. Are we going to say it too? No, that's not correct. You know why? Because the verb here is in the present tense. So, when we have a verb, the, the reporting verb or the introductory verb is in the present tense, we don't change the tense. So, remains played. No change. But he played, so no change. 
Oat bowl. It's right in the hotline, it's no problem. Oat bowl. With my friends? No, Ali's friends. So his friends. Good. Oh, another change of pronoun. His friends. And the sentence is finished. Second example. We are going to meet a friend tomorrow. She said. So good. That. We. Who's we? It's the girl and her friends, for example. So, they. Excellent. They. Are going. This is a verb. In which tense? Very good. Present progressive or present continuous. Said. It's not like this one. This one is in the simple present. This one is in simple past. So, are we going to change the verb tense? Yes, of course. Are going present continuous becomes past continuous. So let's say they were good going. Very good. They were going. Sorry. To have to meet. Sorry. To meet. Sorry. To meet a friend. We don't know who. It's indefinite. Tomorrow, two possibilities, the next day or the following day, whatever you want. So let's say the next day. The next day. By the way, uh, if you uh, enter the website of our uh, high school, you will find a handout with all these changes. Changes of tense, of verb tense, in case the reporting verb is in the past, and the changes of adverbs of time. Two tables. You will have a test next week. So the teacher informed us, good, that if we want to. You, he is speaking to whom? All of us. So we, we, very good, so change of time, of tense, of uh, pronouns here. We will, so the verb is informed in the past, so we would. Excellent, very good. Would have a test, no change, would have a test. Next week, two possibilities, the following week or the next week. Both are correct. So let's say the following week. I don't have enough space, so I'm going to write it here. Very good. So... Um, I hope I was uh, clear enough in this uh, lesson, uh, so I want you to pay attention please to your um, tenses, you need to know your tenses, you need, to, you need to learn your regular verbs by heart, you need to learn the changes, the table of changes of the tenses and of the adverbs of time, so that you can do this lesson um, and you, do this, uh, you can understand this lesson exactly and easily. Um, I will stop here. The next video will be, inshallah, about um, reporting questions, reporting um, order, and other types of sentences, inshallah. So, bye for now. See you next time.